Hi, we are engineering brothers and in my previous classes I had completed the Thevenin theorem and how do I solve those problems by using those Thevenin theorem and I have completed a test solution for that or uh, regarding that Thevenin theorem and uh, I have created two different ways to form the same solution or the to get the same answer from those problems by using our nodal and mesh analysis and the method is very simple I want to create the different pathways that no other teacher or no other educator or no other youtuber could think about that so first of all I will solve a problem by using our Thevenin theorem then we are trying or we are taking the same sort of problem and we will let check that solution by using different methods or by using our Thevenin or sorry the nodal or mesh analysis problems and I will get the same solution or same answers for these three in instances okay so that is our own formula over there so in our previous classes by using our test solution or by using our basic ideas or basic objectives of the evidence theorem I have totally described the procedure to find out our or to solve the network theory problems or network theorem problems by using our Thevenin's theorem but over here you can see that we have chosen this topic as this topic is very important which is different methods of finding RTH ok so what is RTH RTH is the Thevenin's equivalent resistance ok so the R equivalent is our R Thevenin's or equivalent resistance for our Thevenin's equivalent circuit okay so in our previous part I have told you a given circuit is given say this circuit is given okay here if you take this one is R1 this one is R2 this one is R3 and this one is R4 and along with that this is our RL okay so in our previous classes I have told you how to solve uh, or how to find out the current through this load so our problem statement is we need to find out the IL by using our Thevenin's theorem so what are the solutions first the first step is very simple first remove the RL so the first step is remove the RL first remove the RL so I have removed that RL portion over here so now you will get that that this one is our VOC or this is our open circuit terminal you can see that ok all I need we need to find out the open circuit voltage for this condition ok so the next step is first step is remove the RL then find out the open circuit voltage so this is our second step the start step is we need to find out the RTH or R equivalent resistance ok so how do you find out this RTH just deactivating all those source voltage so this one is our source voltage so how do you deactivate that for the voltage source this one is short circuited or if this is our current source then this terminal should be our open circuited and you should take uh, in this open terminal or from this side to calculate our R equivalent resistance over here ok 
and after that by using our equivalent circuit the next step is by using equivalent circuit okay equivalent circuit we have got our final load current over here so this is the basic procedure for our Thevenin's theorem and this one is applicable for our independent voltage source so in our previous classes if you have missed those videos please do follow that videos on those videos I have given you the ideas or the basic ideas regarding our dependent or independent sources over there okay so what is independent and dependent source I have already analyzed the definition of that so to remind you once again this is the sign of our independent voltage source okay let us remove this portion as I have already completed or I have already analyzed the solution or the procedure of the solutions of our Thevenin's theorem in our previous classes okay so let us find out there are two different type of sources this is our independent voltage source and this one is symbolically our dependent voltage source okay what is the definition of independent voltage source the exact definition of our independent voltage source is quite naturally or quite clearly this voltage source is independent of any circuit condition okay or it is not dependent on any voltage any current of any conditions over there that is why the name independent has come from okay so what does this independent mean independent means it is not dependent on any circuit conditions okay so this is our independent voltage source and this one is our dependent voltage source it is actually dependent on any type of current say any type of voltage say the total load current is our say 0.5 so according to the current value of 0.5 amps the voltage or the current value voltage or the current value is changing accordingly okay so this is our independent current source this is the symbol of our independent current source and this one is our voltage source and you have already uh, knew that this is our this is our independent current source okay so this circle means our independent and this one means or this symbol means it is dependent source so whatever may be the circuit condition for independent voltage source the voltage is always still remains same if you do consider that this voltage is 100 volt so throughout the operation of our voltage of that source the voltage is kept same and the voltage value is 100 volt and if I say that this one is 3 amps so the value of our current is always 3 amps but for the dependent current source or dependent voltage source this is our definition of this factor over here so it is totally dependent on our current or it is totally dependent on our voltage values whatever may be the voltage or whatever may be the current condition over there okay so for independent voltage source please do refer my previous videos of Thevenin's theorem but for the dependent voltage source we should take another path to find out the R equivalent circuit or RTH over there but for the open circuit voltage formulation or calculation the procedure is same for both this condition okay so we have got our two steps so our step one and step two I will write in these two ways so which one is our step one 
the first step one is the first method is we need to find out first the voc or open circuit voltage okay and what is the procedure of or uh, to find out the open circuit voltage first do remove the load resistance which is rl so the remove rl remove rl or load resistance okay and we should create the open terminal over there so just find out that open circuit voltage over there so this is our open circuit voltage okay by removing our load resistance and then find out the open circuit voltage and the third step is to make the short circuit of the terminal okay the fourth step is short the terminal the next step is we should find out the short circuit current which is say isc okay and what is the equivalent resistance for that one the formula is very simple the equivalent resistance is rth means the open circuit voltage voc divided by isc so this is our short circuit current formulation for one condition over there provided that the source is dependent okay not independent for that independent one i have already given you the ideas to find out the r equivalent circuit over there but for dependent voltage source we have used this terminal i want to refresh this question once again first we have to find out the open circuit voltage and that is same for every condition but here we should take different path to find out the r equivalent resistance so what is that so first remove the rl and then you will get the voc so that up to this one uh, the previous procedure is same with this one but the next one is just do short circuit that terminal and you have to find out the short circuit current for over from that one and what is the formula for our rth the formula for our rth is open circuit voltage divided by short circuit current which is our r equivalent resistance over here okay i want to give you 2 minutes to note down up to this one uh, as you need proper time to digest up to this one okay after that i will try to analyze our second method over here hope you have understood my total analogy over here if you still have any doubts please let us know in the comment section below okay so the time starts now
In this class, we are going to give you the best possible way to find out the different methods of finding out our RTG. Okay, and I have already given you the ideas or the objectives on how do I find out the RTG for our independent voltage source, but here we should take different route to find out the RTH for our dependent voltage source. Mind you, dependent voltage source is changing accordingly with respect to our current and voltage, and you can add or you can multiply any type of factors over there. That is why, as you can understand or you can see that the voltage source and the current source is totally dependent on the circuit conditioning of our circuit operation that is why these type of sources are called as our dependent voltage source or dependent current source so what is the exact method to find out the rth for that one first of all by using the same procedure, we need to find out the open circuit voltage and uh, by removing that RL load, we will get the open circuit voltage and the next one is the short circuit that open circuit terminal and we need to find out the short circuit current for that one and the ultimate definition is we should find out or by using this simple expression over here we will get the R equivalent resistance or equivalent resistance for a Thevenin's theorem. Mind you, this one is applicable for dependent voltage source or dependent current source or if there is not a single source is present in that circuit, for that one, we should use this procedure to find out the RTH, okay? And the next step is or the next procedure is very simple by using the same procedure we should find out first the VOC and how do I get or how do I make the open circuit voltage over there just do disconnect the load resistance first so disconnection of this procedure is same and the next one is how to find out the RTH the next one is we should have used a voltage source say the voltage source is VDC and because of this connection of this voltage source there is a certain current it should be flown through that circuit and let us do consider that the current is IDC okay and what is the RTH for that condition the RTH should be simply use this ratio which is VDC divided by IDC okay so you can use this method also to find out the R equivalent resistance over here okay so these two are our procedure to find out our R equivalent resistance over here so this one is purely theoretical but when I solve any type of problems you will clear your mind or you will clear this type of concepts by solving some simple or conceptual problems over there so this question is very very easy if you have solved some rigorous or solved some conceptual problems over there okay I want to repeat this question once again and after that I will do concentrate on some elementary problems and we will try to establish our best possible ways to explain our Theminence theorem and we know that for circuit theory we should concentrate on some solving problems that will clear your mind and your concept will be clearer after that okay so this is our second method so first step is we should find out the open circuit voltage which is VOC the second step is by using the same procedure or by removing the RL we have 
come out with the open circuit voltage and the next one is we have connected a voltage source and the voltage source is VDC okay and because of the connection of this voltage source VDC we have got our current which is IDC and by finding out the ratio of VDC divided by IDC we have got our RTH or Thevenin's equivalent resistance over here and I want to repeat this portion once again these two procedure is applicable for the condition of our dependent voltage or current source if you have dependent source dependent voltage source or current source is present in our circuit then we should use this procedure to find out our equivalent resistance for our Thevenin serum over there but for our independent voltage source the previous procedure is enough to find out the RTH and how do you understand uh, these procedures over here plus you should do solve some problems over here and after that you will get the ideas of our RTH or how do I find out the RTH over here I want to remember or remind or refresh this portion once again these two procedure is applicable for our dependent voltage or current source or for any circuit if there is no current or voltage source is present over there so for that condition we should have used this procedure to find out the R equivalent resistance or equivalent resistance for our Thevenin serum over here. So hope you have understood my total analogy over here. If you still have any doubts, please let us know in the comment section below. Hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel. Okay. And please do subscribe our channel if you have missed or if you don't subscribe our channel, you have already missed a lot of exciting classes over here. Okay, so please do subscribe our channel. And I want to repeat this portion once again. Though I understand that this class is not very clear by me, but your concept should be cleared by solving this methods or by solving some Thevenin's theory problems over here and I will come with lot of exciting problems. So stay tuned with our channel. So that's it. Thank you and goodbye.
If you like my video, so what are you waiting for? Please do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon for more updates, and stay tuned to the channel. Thank you and goodbye.